Harry at Top Car Detailing. We're back in the studio today with a Porsche 911 Turbo. So we're going to get the car washed now, get it back in the studio, dry it off, and then I'll catch you later. studio uh, with a Porsche 911 Turbo 3.8 fantastic car this four-wheel drive as well um, we're going to be putting the wheels too on this all the glass is going to be treated um, but we're going to concentrate mainly on the paint correction on this particular vehicle but it's already had a ceramic coating of some description on um, I know what it is but I know it's not up to much at all so what we'll be doing will be uh, taking that off. We're going to use a heavy cup compound at the beginning. We've got to watch the speed as well that we're, we're working with with the machine um, to cut through this to get back to the lack in the paint, and then to refine this, get rid of all the swirl mark scratches, and then bring it back to a mirror finish. Uh, this car is going to look the business as well once it's done. Also, we'll be taking the um, plastic off here near the wheel arches I'm going to be removing that this morning and the stickers down below uh, get rid of those too uh, before we do any polishing whatsoever right so cleaned all the glass up now all that's done that's out of the way with all the interior has been hoovered in the car uh, cleaned up and all the internal glass treated too. So uh, we've boxed that off. Have a pan round now, have a look at the paintwork before we start, and then we'll explain a bit more about what we're going to do with this particular vehicle. Uh, lots of uh, issues with the paintwork on the Porsche 911 uh, turbo here. I can see the swirl marks, and we've got even uh, buffer trails here where probably it's. Somebody's tried to machine polish this car before. Around the back uh, where the vents are, we've got lots of issues in the plastic uh, grills here. You can see the swirl marks and holograms, what's going on. around the back of the car now here um, where well, we've got the aerofoil up underneath here so we're going to have to unpolish this so we're going to be sorting this out shortly as well also what we've got here um, the plastic vents on this is full of swirl marks and scratches too lots of issues in the paintwork on this particular car so what we'll do next we'll address this area get this sorted out Get this uh, other quarter panel done here and then we'll come round the back to the bumper and that and then sort the underneath the aerofoil out, get this out of the way with uh, before moving on to the next stage. What we'll be doing is uh, dressing the vents here and getting rid of all these swirl marks and scratches. makes a massive difference now we've uh, nearly finished the first stage of machine polishing on the Porsche 911 turbo here uh, fantastic car obviously lots of issues in the paintwork so we're just going to take a look at the bonnet now at the minute and see what that looks like as you can see a massive difference from uh, what it was like this morning uh, lots of issues there swirl marks scratches holograms going on but we've got rid of them now and this is only the first cut at the moment 
Um, we have had lots of holograms too in the paintwork on this particular vehicle. So we will still be probably needing a three stage polish overall. Uh, so what we'll be doing next, moving on to the second stage of polishing. This still, uh, with this pad and, that, and the compound, still got quite a bit of a cut to it. Uh, but also uh, this, this particular polish also removes holograms as well. So we've got to uh, cut this back yet a bit more. Uh, before the final stage of refining the paint and getting more depth of clarity, turning this car into a complete mirror. So we've panel wiped the old car down now. Uh, we've been looking around with the light, seeing what, um, checking the paint. We're still on the first stage of machine polishing at the minute, but there is some issues here with bad scratches, especially on this lower quarter here. Viewing now is using the uh, three inch pad uh, with some heavy cut compound to cut through this defects here, get rid of them. And same on the other side, once we've done that, then we're ready uh, to move on to the second stage. And all the car's been panel wiped down. We've been round with the light, inspected all the panels made sure there's no scratches or swirl marks left within the paint so we've got rid of all of them even the deeper scratches as well because we want to be giving the car back to the customer in absolute pristine condition right so what we've also done is done all the plastic uh, air intake grill here too all the inner vents have been treated in g Technic C4 permanent trim, polished all this up and that is fully coated as well in uh, g Technic Crystal Serum Ultra. Also treated all the plastics here underneath too. What we also did is the, the air intake vents, that's all, they've all been treated, all the plastic there and that's a hydrophobic coating so that's going to repel everything and uh, all the wheels they are coated in uh, g Technic C5 wheel arm. Treated all the uh, side windows, the rear window and the sunroof too um, in uh, G5 water repellent by g Technic. Fantastic coating and that gives you a hydrophobic barrier so when it rains it's just going to bead off like anything. Also removed all the number plates as well, they've been coated. All the plastic trim round here as well even under the grill at the front here and the side vents to where the air intakes are and that's just uh, really good it dyes it jet black permanent uh, coating and that's hydrophobic uh, so another top job well around the back uh, removed all the number plates too so we want to be when we're doing work here we want to be machine polishing every area we can get to so everything is uh, fully uh, detailed all the scratches and swirl marks have gone behind there and uh, what we've done we've put the, the number plates on uh, back on uh, with new centre caps as well for the screws uh, so that's sorted out all the plastic trim underneath has been dyed yet black even uh, cleaned it all underneath too and the exhaust tips have been uh, polished up and coated in g Technic Crystal Serum Ultra as well uh, we've been, uh, polished all the headlights up too on this car because there were very fine scratches in them as well. Got rid of all of them and that's another service we do here at Top Car Detailing. Headlight refurbishments as well. Um, and we also offer uh, alloy wheel refurbs too so we can send the wheels away while your car is being detailed. We've done with and polished it under here. Uh, got rid of all the swirl marks and scratches with a heavy cut compound with a microfiber towel and then a refinishing uh, compound afterwards to get a high gloss finish and we've also uh, coated that too in g Technic Crystal Serum Ultra so everything is going to repel everything on this car and many hours have uh, gone into this doing the paint correction work and everything uh, overall it needed the three stage machine polish uh, especially on a couple of panels around and about uh, because of the deeper scratches and obviously holograms there too but as you can see this car now looks like a complete mirror
fantastic car to detail. The Porsche uh, 911 Turbo, four wheel drive car, fantastic bit of kit. Um, obviously, the power in this is absolutely tremendous. Um, so, the customer is going to be collecting this shortly, and um, then we shall be looking ahead uh, for when our next car comes in. Now, if you'd like any more information on our, our, have our car detailing services, uh, check out our website at www.topcardetailing.co.uk or give me a ring personally where I can give you the right advice moving forward for your car. Remember, it's always about the finish here, turning cars from a squirrel mess back to a mirror finish. And that's what it's about. Uh, right, anyway, I'm going to have to go now. Uh, but if you like, hit the subscribe button below on our YouTube channel and you'll be notified soon when the next video goes live. And we've got some more nice cars too coming along in the pipeline. And you never know, yours could be one of them. Anyhow, until next time, catch you later.